Let's go ahead and take a look at the door option for the 3D game kit. Inside of prefabs, interactables, door, we have three, door huge, gateway, and small. We'll leave the door small for the moment. I'm just going to place a door inside the scene. Notice again, it's the same type, simple translator, start point, end point, just like our moving pad. We can take our preview position and notice the door is going to go down and go back up. The interaction type is called open. We need a triggering element that's going to use the same one to open the door. We have a pressure pad and a pressure pad trigger. The pressure pad trigger looks like this and then the pressure pad looks like this. So both of them just depends on how cool you want your your character when they walk up to it to look. All right, so we're going to use this one since it's a small door. We can use the other uh, as it gets bigger. You may want more of an effect for it. On trigger enter, we want to have the pressure pad be triggered. On exit, we're saying it's going to be deactivated. These are for the animator to play correctly. So for instance, if I was to walk over to it, Because I activated it, it played the animation for us. Now we need to have the object that we want to receive the trigger information for, which is basically think of it like we've done in code. We just have a on trigger enter. So when the player hits this, we want this to activate. So on the pressure pad trigger, you'll see on the send on trigger enter, there's an option for interactive object. Interactive object means that we want to use the small door. And now these are connected, so we'll know that this belongs to this one. And the interactive door type is open. So both of them need to say open. So it's going to send a message and say open. And when it says open, it's going to play the animation. All right, so there we go. We have a basic door, which is going to be open and closing right there. And then we have our moving pad inside of here. We'll take a look at combining and creating more of a scene environment with the rest of the assets so that we have something that we can use to play within.